Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Saturday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we are hoping for some better content today to just grind on the menus because I don't know if you're feeling the same as, as me right now, but I'm feeling just kind of like, eh, with this game and with the promo. Preseason is coming out. Of course, we did get some new player SBCs yesterday. I want to talk about those, the Friday content, but honestly, boys, it's really just feeling kind of like an L to me. So far, it's just really kind of feeling like an L, unfortunately. Uh, it's just, this promo is basically just like a letdown, is almost what it seems so far. And that all is stemming around just based off of what is in packs. And that is something that drives a lot of the stuff that we like to do at this stage of the year, right? We like to craft SBCs. We like to open upgrade packs to try to pack these cards that they put back into packs uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the year. Team of the seasons, team of the seasons, team of the years and team of the seasons i just said tots twice but we don't have the really the opportunity to do that because there's only 52 cards that are in packs right now and it's really really hard to pack those out of these two upgrade SBCs. so that is really kind of like i don't know it's in the gameplay i've had really 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 bad um experiences with the gameplay in the past couple days like terrible bad so uh yeah, I'm just feeling kind of like down on foot right now. I don't know if you guys are in the same boat as me. Um, now, they're putting out player SBCs almost every day. We're getting, uh, we have objectives that were released as well, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough for me right now. Uh, and maybe they're just focused solely on FIFA 21 and starting to do that kind of stuff. I don't understand. Um, but of course, it's not that hard to just throw a bunch of cards in packs and say, here, go have fun when you just did that like two weeks ago in the Summer Heat Batch 3 promo. So it is what it is. Uh, I want to cover the content that was yesterday. I want to talk about that right away. And I'll talk about what maybe could come today because we didn't see a few things today. And I think we could see some of those things uh, or yesterday we didn't see them and we could see them today. And I also want to talk about some possible investments going forward. Yes, you heard it here. Investments in August. Welcome to August, boys. All right. Uh, yes, it is August, which is crazy. But Today, yesterday on Friday, we had the Mkhitaryan SBC. Now, this is a live item, so there is a bit of an extra, I don't know, maybe uh, boost or desire for maybe some people to get this card. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best right mid, right wing cards in the Serie A. Of course, uh, Ronaldo's Shapeshifter card and Kaya Hone, who did not get boosted, but it was still a 92 rated card. Uh, was a pretty solid option as well. They're on the right side. And uh, there's a Bernardeschi. I think it was a like a, a season card, a storyline, Bernard Eschi or something like that. That was 93 rated, but this is one of the best uh, right mids in the Serie A with his stats, especially with a five-star weak foot. And this is a live item as well. If, if Roma, they're playing Sevilla, so they don't have a really good matchup, but if Roma do end up winning, he will continue to get upgraded as long as they do go. Uh, really solid looking card though. Again, throw an engine chemistry style on him and he looks cracked out. Especially as a center attack in mid, in my opinion, that's maybe where I would play him. Five foot ten, high agility, high balance, pretty high at least. Uh, good passing, good dribbling stats all around, good strength and aggression as well. Good pace, solid looking card. That right there, eighty four rated squad with high chemistry. So, you know, you have a couple days to complete that SBC. Actually, how many days do you have to complete him? You have got four days. So you got four days to complete that Mkhitaryan if you're interested in him. Then the other thing that came today was this. Um, road to the final Ansu Fadi. So another Ansu Fadi card. This one gets a plus three boost over his um, Tots moments or whatever that SPC was earlier this year. Uh, a fan favorite for sure, this one. And this also gives you an anchor chemistry style reward in FIFA 21 when you complete this SPC. So uh, really hype, right? You get a 92 Ansu Fadi and you get an anchor chemistry style in FIFA 21. Uh, but this is a live item. This made some, like, road to the final. Usman Dembele kind of crashed today because of this, uh, which was interesting. But uh, this is a pretty easy card to do. It's basically almost, like, identical requirements to Semedo. So I'm going to try to get Semedo and uh, Ansu Fadi done at the same time. If I can find some gameplay that is enjoyable, because I have not found some recently, or not found any recently. Uh, but you need six wins and rivals. That's the hardest one. Six wins and rivals scoring with La Liga players, some goals, some assists and scoring as well. So that's not a bad card to have. And it's just kind of fun for the Panini, right? Right wing, Spaniard, Barcelona, the young talent, 92 rated card. Of course, they do have some tough matchups, but he could go to a 95, I think, if they keep going throughout the Champions League. And that was all of our content. That was all of our content on Friday. 
that was not a very hype Friday in my opinion. It was an L in my opinion as well. And I think a lot of people kind of felt the same way because you saw what the market did when we don't have good content on the menus, no good SBCs that cause people to panic sell to go do whatever SBC comes out. You see the market rise and that is exactly what happened a lot on Friday. A lot of cards are inflated. A lot of stuff is high. If you're happy uh, with a price right now and you want to sell a card, be my guest because this Raul card was 350,000 coins. He's up 100K. Um, Blanc was in the 200s. He's now like, what, 350? Looks like. Wow, he's actually 390. That's crazy. Nedved was 450. He's now up in the 500 pluses, uh, 540. So a lot of these cards have really risen up over the weekend. Road to the finals have risen up as well after their initial crash. Tots cards are up. Basically, everything is up that is meta in this game because people have nothing else to do but go and grind the weekend league for the new rewards that come out next week, uh, that debut next week, technically. All team of the season rewards next week, which isn't going to be that different from how it was the past few weeks with Summer Heat because those were mostly Tots cards anyway. Uh, but I, that's what is happening right now with the market in a general sense. SPC fodder is even up as well if we take a look at some of the cheapest players by rating. Uh, these cards are all inflated too, 86s, 87s, 88s, 89s, because people have nothing else to do on the menus. Maybe do the um, Mkhitaryan SBC, and then they're going and they're still crafting those prime icon moments, the prime or moments upgrades. Everybody's still doing those because that's just like one of the things that you can do right now on the menus. The only thing that might save this promo a little bit and that would make us have a lot of fun is if they re-release that 90 plus Team of the season pack as repeatable. I would spam these 81 double pluses and the 82 to 88s because then I would be able to craft those SBCs because that was only an 82 rated squad to complete that 90 plus tots. And then I would also put those duplicates or not duplicates, but some higher rateds into the icon upgrade. So that would be a very fun and craftable thing that you could do right now. Technically, you can open up these packs and craft the icon upgrades, but like there's 52 cards that, that are able to be packed right now. And there's just not a lot of other fodder. It just seems like such a letdown based off of what we saw two weeks ago, three weeks ago with the cards that were in packs for batch three, any of the batches during summary, it just kind of seems like an L unfortunately, for whatever reason, EA is not doing that. I'm going to keep coming back to that point. Cause I feel like that is not like, it's just not hype like right now because they didn't do that. And that's really just causing a lot of hype to be kind of deflated out of this game one last thing that we did see uh yesterday on friday is this right here fifa 20 game data centers the longest deep dive like pitch note article we have ever freaking seen uh basically to give you guys a rundown of what goes down in here th they have a little summary at the bottom as well uh a summary of this whole entire spiel this whole entire document and all of this stuff is um they're upgrading servers they're adding servers they supposedly, they're talking about all the factors that go into this stuff. Honestly, boys, all that they're doing here when they're talking about all these new servers, right, is they are helping one side of the issue. This is only one side of the issue in FIFA Ultimate Team. This does not fix gameplay, okay? This does not fix the gameplay and make it all of a sudden better like that. Will your, some of your connection issues be fixed? Yes, but there are also still fundamental flaws in the gameplay, the way the game is coded, dynamic difficulty adjustment, whatever it is, scripting, handicapping, whatever you want to call it. That is a coding issue. So am I happy that they're working on this and they're putting effort towards it and they're spending money to, you know, put more servers out there so that people in Jamaica are matching me here in the United States? Yes, I am happy about that. But until we have other fixes like getting a new game engine please the unreal engine is just screaming to have fifa be built on it please ea sports we would love that until we have changes like that as well you're not going to see a full and true fix in this game so you're still going to have some of the issues in game your players still might feel heavy um but you know guess i guess now you might have better ping i know a lot of people have come in my chat and have commented and said hey since they've started adding these servers I've had a lot better gameplay. G freaking G's to you. I'm going to be honest with you. The past three weeks, gameplay for me has gotten nothing but worse. I don't know what it is with the new patches. Gameplay for me has been awful. It's been abysmal. I'm getting, you know, 28 to 30 ping every single time. I live maybe like 150 miles from the closest server. But the closest server to me would be like in Columbus or something, right? Still, I should not be getting... I feel like I should be getting less ping than that. I have good internet. I don't know. It is what it is. 
Uh, at least I get four to five bars most times. And a lot of people are getting good ping now. So hopefully that's helping you guys out. But for me, it's only gotten worse technically, which kind of sucks. But if you want to read that article to the full intent, I will leave that link down below in the description if you want to see about that. Uh, and again, that is just focusing on the data centers that really doesn't have anything else to do other than have data centers. So let's talk about today on Saturday. Could we see a resurgence of FIFA content today? Maybe if EA wants to flip the switch and make us and allow us to have fun on this game, they make that 90 plus SBC repeatable. They put it out in the game on you know, three, four days or whatever. Then we'll go to town and we'll absolutely craft those SBCs. We'll have a lot of fun. We still haven't seen any top transfer content. They've been really hammering like the first part of this promo. It's been all UCL Europa League and stuff like that. We haven't gotten anything related to top transfers or a Champions League showdown. That could be the other type of um, SBC or type of content that we see today. Again, I've said this the past two days. Stay tuned to Twitter for a new car design if they're going to do a new car design for the um, for the Champions League or Europa League Summer Showdown, which I think they should. If they're not lazy, they would do another type of car design for those uh, th those cards, those, those SBCs or objectives that they would put out because if they use a summer heat design and use it summer showdown, I feel like that, I don't know. I mean, I guess it would work, but I'd like to see them use a new car design just kind of revolving around UCL or Europa League. So we'll see what they do, uh, but that could be coming today as well. And then one thing I want to start to talk to you about and kind of put in your guys' minds is possible investments. Yes, you heard me say it. Possible investments? Yeah, possible investments, man, because... Champions League games are starting on Friday. Juventus and Lyon, Man City and Real Madrid. And what happens when we have Champions League games? We have live road to the final items in action. Games being played, potential for upgrades on the line. And there's going to be some market movements with these cards, I guarantee it. So I just want to put the bug in your ear, put the idea in your brain, right? This is all I want to do. Uh, not these cards, this game's right here. Man City, Real Madrid, right? Uh, Man City has a 2-1 advantage right now. Juventus and Lyon. Lyon's got a 1-0 advantage over Juventus, right? So as it stands right now, this Dybala card would not get upgraded because if Juventus lose to Lyon, this guy would still stay at 93. Now, it's a bit of an interesting scenario because he has a Tots card that is in packs right now and it's only 50k more than the road to the final. It's got plus 2, plus, plus 6 physical, which is a pretty big boost. All I'm saying is some of these road to the final cards might be uh, like a decent, a decent look, right? A decent look, a possible buy, depending on what teams play, if there is potential to get, to get them upgraded. And if they don't have a better card in FIFA ultimate team, right? So you got Barcelona playing Napoli on Saturday. Uh, what Barcelona? We have Dembele. Okay. Uh, do we, do we have another Barcelona? Oh, Jordi Alba in team two, right? If Jordi Alba gets an upgrade, this is a very, very rare card. This could get interesting, right? He was like 150 K yesterday before rewards. Watch this stuff, monitor these prices over the end of the weekend. If we have big time, uh, content, repeatable SBCs that could come out, you might see these cards drop off. And just with weekly sell off, just keep an eye on these cards. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I saw Martial was even more expensive than 130 today. Is that true? Uh, just kind of watch these guys for a sell-off because there could be a possible um, boost up in price. And not a lot of people are really talking about these cards as investments at the moment. Just watch the weekly sell-off this weekend. You're going to want to get in early, in my opinion, uh, on some of these cards if you want to try to make that investment and, and make some coins off of that. So that's something to just kind of put in your back of your mind. Add them to the transfer list or the transfer targets. Just monitor their prices. They might swing up and down a decent amount at the end of the weekend league as people sell them because these cards are are garnering a lot more hype right now, which makes sense because they got plus three upgrades uh, for the ones that are still in Champions League. Like this content went from 230K all the way up to 300,000 coins raised right now. If I saw him back at like 270, 260, I would get very, very interested um, because I guess Chelsea are playing Bayern. Bayern's up 3-0. So Conte is not going to get upgraded. Uh, but this is the other side of the coin, right? Yes, you might be investing in some of these cards because you think their team is going to win. And, and that's where this all goes around, right? Don't invest in any of these road to the final cards if you don't think their team is going to win. So if you think Lyon is going to pull off the upset on Juventus, then maybe you look at Depay, right? Or maybe if you think 
Um, if you think Real Madrid's going to come back and beat Man City, maybe you look at like a uh, Militao card, right? But for a team like Chelsea down 3-0 against Bayern, right? This Conte card is probably going to drop, but it's Conte. Let's say Napoli and Barcelona. What's the score on this right now? 1-1. That's a close game. That's in the bounds. But like this Conte card, I'd be very interested in, since people know he's not going to get the upgrade, is that factored into his price right now? Would we actually see panic selling if Chelsea don't make up that three-goal deficit? Would we actually see panic selling? Or is the fact that this card is probably not getting upgraded built into his price at the moment? So that's going to be something interesting to watch this week. Um with a lot of these cards. I don't know if actually I'd, I would buy Conte on the weekly sell-off because I feel like people would realize, hey, they're down 3-0, probably not going to end up winning this game uh, and moving on to the next round so he won't get updated. So that could cause his price to drop, but there's probably going to be a point, just like with a card that is this meta, this popular in FIFA, the French center defensive mid Conte, the beast that he is, he's going to have a rebound from that low point. These cards are very, very rare regardless. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Road to the finals are probably going to fluctuate a lot in the next week or so. Could be some investment opportunities and some opportunities to make coins there if you are interested. So I pray for EA Sports to somehow change their minds and put more cards in packs or release that 90 plus tots SBC or else this game is going to get real quiet real quick in my opinion because uh, the pack content is what drove the Summer Heat promotion and the SBCs. Well, now we're still getting SBCs but we're not getting packed content, right? It's tough to pack stuff right now. Like there's really no desire for me to grind upgrades, which sucks because I want to waste the last of my 1.8 million coins that I have on upgrade packs, but I can't because it's literally not worth it at this stage right now. So that's the content for today. If you have any questions, drop it down below. Uh, sub to the channel if you enjoy the videos. And of course, leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it as well, I will see you guys tomorrow for a good old Sunday upload and good luck with your foot champions games. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. I will keep you guys, catch you guys later. Peace out.